Hi, I'm David from Ardeni Fine Minerals, and today I will be talking to you about the cinnabar and dolomite specimen from China. The name cinnabar is said to have derived from the ancient Greek word kinabari, which refers to the red coloration. It is a mercury sulfide and the important source or for the element mercury. Cinnabar has been used for its color since antiquity. In ancient China for coloring stoneware, in Mesoamerican Olmec culture, they used it as a pigment as well. It is also the historic source for the brilliant red or scarlet pigment termed vermilion. The ancient Romans realized that this beautiful mineral was also toxic and needed to be handled delicately. Long-term exposure to cinnabar and its dust will give you neurological changes, sometimes referred to as the Mad Hatter disease. It will lead to hallucinations and psychosis. It can also give you rashes. Hat makers in the Middle Ages use mercury nitrate and often experience these symptoms. Don't worry, in its crystalline form, it is safe to handle, but we do recommend washing your hands after handling it. Crystals can typically be found in volcanic, mercury-rich deposits, usually associated with hot springs, and also in epithermal veins. This is a stunning cinnabar specimen that has the desired deep cherry red coloration. It also exhibits excellent luster and a great translucency. This cinnabar is a great example of twinning. You can see the two intergrown crystals are what is also known as penetration twins. The red of the cinnabar really pops against its contrasting canvas of white dolomite. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please feel free and comment below.